Yeah, so my name is Javon Francis. Um, I grew up in a really busy part of Durban, uh, the central part of Durban. It was one of the hustling, it was the hustle and bustle of the town. And at the time when I was growing up there, it was one of the most dangerous areas. Uh, it's gotten a little bit better now, but uh, growing up there, it was really dangerous. Um, we didn't see it as dangerous, and I'm sure you can understand. Uh, when you grow up in an area like that, you don't know that it's, it's, it, it, it's dangerous. You don't feel like you're at threat. But um, when I would walk out onto the street, for example, right, I would walk to catch a taxi to school. I would then pass. So on my road, it was a, it was a one-way road. One entrance at the top, one entrance at the bottom. You would always have drug dealers at the top and at the bottom, right? So walking to school, straight out my gate, um, I would pass these drug dealers, these prostitutes, these, like, man, like, if I tell you the stories that I've seen of people getting beaten in the road, stories of myself getting robbed, I mean, th that area was rough, uh, honestly, but growing up there, you, you didn't feel it. And I think coming from that, from that point, Durban as a whole, um, it was a really dark place for me at one point. And coming from that area, I think it was really my motivation to start my business. Uh, when you're born into that environment, you, you think of, okay, what is my future? You look at your friends, you look at your peers, you think, okay, damn, where am I going? Mm -hmm. And um, it was really, it was really a motivational kickstarter, if I can get it to you that way, in terms of growing up in that area, seeing the things that I did, understanding that these are where my friends are going, and having that, that mindset to say, okay, no, I need to do something different. And... Um, just ask me who I am, I was that person that said, I'm not going to go down that road. I was that person that said, okay, everybody's doing this, I want to do that. At 18 years old, everybody was buying shoes and buying clothes. I was like, how do I start my first business? At 18 years old, I was like, okay, my friends want to go out clubbing, but I've got so much work to do. And this is, if I, if, if, if I spend an hour or two hours at my desk designing, that would mean, let's say, 5,000 Rand more than if I went out with my friends and spent a thousand Rand less so the maths didn't make sense to me at the time So I think I was that type of person growing up that said Okay, everybody's doing one thing. I'm gonna do the opposite because I don't see we, we always say You know the youth are reckless. The youth don't know what they're doing. The youth don't know how to manage the money I don't think that's true um, Coming from my perspective along my road I also met a lot of people like me a lot of people who had the same mentality of I don't want to do that, you know, the youth is going in one direction, I want to go in the opposite direction, yeah, but I think you can, we can unpack the question. Yes, let's unpack it. So, great up, what was your dream and, you know, what did you want to become and where did you see yourself? Alright, uh, when I grew up actually, I wanted to be a pilot, so this is, this is a long story, but I want to be a pilot, right, I love airplanes and uh, I was always fascinated by how an airplane functions. And I wanted to be a pilot. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a pilot. I love airplane games and so on. And then I I go to enroll in pilot school and they tell me I can't because of my eyesight. So I was like, man, next option, aeronautical engineering. I was like, cool, I'm gonna do aeronautical engineering. Get to grade 11, I see my marks are like terrible, especially my maths mark, which is what you really need for aeronautical engineering. And I realized, okay, fine, I'm not gonna go into the aerospace or aeronautical engineering space, what next, right? So I'm in matric, um, I'm good at engineering graphics and design, um, very bad at maths, <laughs> uh, very bad at everything else, except for engineering graphics and design. I knew I had an eye for design. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna be an architect. And I think sometimes when you're growing up, we always tell ourselves, we're gonna be that person, right? This is what I wanna be. And I hope you don't mind, but Sometimes God tells you, well, that's not what I want for you. That's not the plan I have for you. And sometimes we say, this is what we want. And we say, we're going to pray about it and we're going to make it happen. But that's not what really God wants for you. So really on that journey of being a pilot, aeronautical engineer, and then architect in matric. And then I graduate from matric having failed maths. And I think that was the turning point for me because I was so focused on becoming an architect and wanting to be an architect. And then I failed maths and then I can't study architecture. I think for me that was more of a, there was two ways I could have dealt with that. I could have said, I don't believe in this, I don't believe in God, I'm giving up, I, 
can't believe this. Like, I'm not going to study. Why should I study? You know, most of my friends in the streets, they don't study. Why should I study? But I think I persevered. And having gone through that, I looked at, okay, well, I'm so good at designing. God still gave me a gift, right? So I'm still, I'm still a good designer. I still know that. So what else can I do? And that's where I went to college. Came. I walked in and, geez, that was a journey. I walked into Rosemont College and I told the guy, look, I'm good at design, right? What do you guys have that I can do? And he's like, we have a brilliant graphic design course. And what I love about it as well is that it wasn't just graphic design, it was, it was so holistic. It had a little bit of digital marketing, had a little bit of video, it had a little bit of HTML coding and so on. It was so holistic and I was like, okay, yeah, I can do this. And Rosemont College accepted me. So on that journey of what did I want to become and finally leading to the road that actually God wanted me, wanted me to be in, that was a road of failure, 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 and finally finding a place that I could feel at home. And then finding Rosemary College and then studying graphic design, that was another journey on its own.